Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Mukesh English and this is Mukesh Soni. In this video, we'll have the discussion of the important questions of the famous lesson All Creatures Great and Small by Ruskin Bond, which belongs to the first semester BCom BBA Generic English under Bangalore University and Bangalore North University. So in this video, we'll have the discussion of the two marks and five marks important questions of the lesson All Creatures Great and Small. So let's begin it. To begin with, we shall have the discussion of the two marks questions. And the very first question is here. Whom did the grandfather get the python from? The grandfather got the python from a snake charmer. How did he impress the crowds with the python? The grandfather impressed the crowds by, single, by, slinging, by slinging the python across his shoulders and walking home with it. Garland, uh, sorry, grand, grandmother was tolerant of grandmother was tolerant of the most birds and animals, but drew the line at reptiles as pets. So this is a fill of the blanks. Grandmother was tolerant of most birds and animals, but she drew the line at reptiles as the pets. Who was Mabel and why did the grandfather dislike her? Mabel was the grandfather's cousin. He disliked her because she was fussy. Why did the grandfather feel crestfallen? The grandfather could not find the snake charmer and hence he returned home crestfallen. Where was the python kept and how did it, how did it, it escape? The python was kept in steep-sided tin tub in the bathroom. It escaped later through the window. How did Aunt Mabel react to the python's first appearance? Aunt Mabel's first reaction when she saw the python was of sheer terror. She was shocked, terrified. Her eyes widened, her mouth dropped open and she let out she let out a high pitched scream that echoed throughout the house she shouted in such a manner the whole house got echoed when did aunt mabel decide decide to pack her bags and leave when aunt mabel saw the python admiring her from under the cushion she decided to pack her bags and leave <clears throat> The python's weakness as perceived by the grandfather was reflection. So, uh, so umbrella, reflection, juicy chicken. The right answer is here, reflection. That's python's greatest weakness, according to grandfather. Now we shall have the discussion of the five marks question from the lesson, all creatures. The very first question, explain the chaos created by the uh, arrival of the python in the grandfather's house. The grandfather was fond of unusual pets. One day, he bought a python for six rupees from a snake charmer. He slung it across his shoulders and walked home. Grandmother nearly fainted at the sight of the python curled around his throat. She insisted that her husband find the men and have the python returned to him. So grandfather placed it in a steep-sided tin tub in the bathroom and went to bring the snake charmer. He returned crestfallen as he was unable to locate the men. Grandfather went to the bathroom to take the python to the jungle, but it had slipped through the bathroom window. The reptile made its appearance after a few days. So that was the, this is how uh, the chaos was created. We have few more expression. Aunt Mabel was about to pluck a guava when she spotted this 20 foot long python looking at her queerly, strangely, as though it would devour her. Soon it began to make a series of appearances often in unexpected places. It was found the next morning on the dressing table, gazing at his reflection in the mirror. Later, it peeped at Aunt Mabel from under the cushion. The entire household tried to locate it at different places. Finally, 
a cage was set up with a mirror at the at one end juicy chicken with other delicacies was placed inside the cage the python was finally trapped and released into the jungle and it was still enraptured with its own reflection in the mirror in this way the arrival of python has created a chaos in the grandfather's house question number 2 Describe Aunt Mabel's reaction to the presence of the python. Aunt Mabel was a fussy woman who had come to grandfather's house for a three-week stay. She did not like pets of any kind, let it be python also. A few days after her, her arrival, the elusive python made its appearance. She had seen the python on the guava tree while reaching for a guava. She flew up the veranda steps looking as though she had seen a ghost. She felt that the python almost 20 feet long would devour her. It had a quail look in its terrible eyes. The next time she spotted the python admiring her from under a cushion which made her throw up in a fit of hysterics. She packed her bags immediately and left grandfather's house. So that's a question number two. Question number three. How did the grandfather finally succeed in caging the python? The grandfather had bought a python from a snake charmer. Grandmother threatened him to take away the python from the house. It was locked up in a steep sided tin tub in the bathroom. And later he found it he found it had slipped through the window. It was not to be found anywhere for a few days. Soon it made its appearance on the guava tree and scared Aunt Mabel. One day it was admiring her from under a cushion. Soon it was seen curled up on the dressing on the dressing table, gazing at its own reflection. Grandfather finally found a way, a way to trap the python. He set about preparing a large cage with a mirror at one end. He left juicy chicken and various other delicacies and fitted up the, po the opening with a trap door. Nothing happened for a few days, but one morning, the narrator found the python curled up in the cage he had eaten everything left out for him and was relaxing in front of the mirror with a smiling face or with a smile on his face. The trap door was gently lowered. Grandfather and the gardener put the cage in the pony trap, went to the other side of the river bed and left the cage in the jungle with the trap door open and in this manner the python went back went back to the jungle towards the jungle now the next question bring out the humor with ref humor with reference to aunt mabel and the python in the story aunt mabel is a fussy woman grandfather did not look forward for her visits but she was here on a three week stay both the grandfather and grandmother are aware that mabel did not like exotic pets and she had an aversion towards pythons. When grandfather bought home a python one fine day, grandmother, knowing Mabel's preferences, insists that her husband return, return the python to the snake charmer. So the reptile is kept in a steep sided tin tub in the bathroom, but it escapes through the open window after looking for it all over the house, in the kitchen, poultry shade, etc., it is not to be found. Finally, Aunt Mabel arrives within a day of her arrival. The python makes its appearance. Aunt Mabel see, sees the creature in the guava tree while plucking the fruit. She screams loudly and ran up the veranda steps looking as though she had seen a ghost. She describes the look in its eyes as though it would devour her. It was a it was a bow it was a bow constrictor. It was a bow constrictor, twenty feet long, 
and looking at her in a in a very strange manner grandfather goes to the tree to kill the python but it's it disappeared and rusty comments that she must have frightened the poor creature away soon the python begin making a series of appearances often in unexpected places aunt mabel had another fit of hysterics when she saw him admiring her from under a cushion she packed her bags and went back home so friends this is how i have solved the questions from the lesson all creatures great and small or small and great were skin bond and all the other lessons videos links you can go through the description box or the playlist on my channel thank you so much if you like the video subscribe the channel if you like the video click on the like uh, sorry like button write in the comment box your suggestions or whatever however you feel about the video and the other videos if you have any questions you can reach me to my email id to my email uh, email inbox mukeshenglish@gmail.com thank you so much wish you good luck for the forthcoming examination